welcome back to the next part of our build and today we're going to start on the flooring. So we have the uh, inside floor which is flipped upside down in which we're going to put our framing on and then we'll cover that with quarter inch and then we're going to uh, cover that with phylon. So uh, let's get started. So according to our drawings the top of the floor from one end to the other is approximately seven feet six and five eighths inches and it's two inches from the bottom of the uh, side walls. So the piece that we're going to be working on right now is the uh, top section or the inside flooring. We're going to go ahead and cut that to size according to our drawing and then we will switch over and start making our frames that will uh, attach to the bottom of our flooring and then we will uh, cover that with quarter inch then we'll flip it over and then we've got to cut some bevels on the end of our wood here for the ends of the trailer. So that's what we're uh, going to attempt to do today. So hang in there. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did is uh, to make sure that my piece of plywood here is square. I measured from one corner to the other, got a dimension, then measured from the other corner to the other corner, and I've got the uh, same dimension. So my wood is square. And uh, so I'm comfortable with taking dimensions off of this without having to true it up. So the first measurement we're going to take is we're going to go from one end. We're going to measure over at 7 feet, 6 and 5 eighths. We're going to make a mark on both ends, put a straight edge, mark a line. Then we're going to set up for a little skill saw. And we're going to cut the end off here so we've got our length. Uh, and then we have to cut for our width. So let's go ahead and get set up and draw some lines and make some cuts. Okay, so now we have our floor cut to our dimensions. Uh, let's drop a tape measure across here. According to our drawing, we want uh, 46 and a half inches wide. We're going to come back 5 and 5 sixteenths of an inch on each end. Total length is 7 feet 9 sixteenths. Give or take a 30 second, somewhere in there. And uh, in between, we should have a total of 6 foot 8 inches, and that's where our uh, frame is going to be. So from the end, we are back 5 and 5 sixteenths from both ends. Yep. The length of our wood here. just a little over the 9 16 so we're right at 5 8 and for the width we are setting at pretty 46 and a half inches so floor is coming out right next is to cut our frame our wood for our frames and we can start fastening those in place and then we can insulate Okay, following our plans, we need some sticks, six foot eight inches. I'm double stacking the white pine, so I need two, four, six, eight pieces at six foot eight. So where you should be right now is you should have your one by twos all measured out and uh, have your cut line. So we're going to uh, double stack those, so I need two, four, six, eight pieces and I've got eight pieces laying here so you should have eight pieces and then we just need to cut on our mark and then we can get those attached and then we can worry about our end pieces and then all the filler uh, pieces for our frame then we'll be able to insulate in between and cap it off with our quarter inch so get that cut and we'll move to the next step Alright, 
So we have all of our longitudinal sticks cut at six foot five inches, not the six foot eight that I told you. Six foot eight is the overall length. You want to make sure that your sticks are cut at six foot five inches. Apologize for that. Next is we've got these end pieces here, and these are 46 and a half inches, and we need four of those. So we're going to go ahead and cut those, and we'll get those set aside, and then we'll worry about these once all these are attached so we can get uh, uh, exact measurements. These are within about a sixteenth or a thirty second. So let's get the end pieces cut. Okay, now that all of our sticks are cut, we're going to start attaching them. We're going to start on the end piece, and then we'll attach the sides, and then we'll attach this end piece, and then we'll worry about these two here in the center, and then we'll uh, get these cut and attach those, and then we're ready for some insulation. So I'm going to uh, get out my glue, my staple gun, and we're going to go to town. All right, using Type 2 Bond Premium. I'm going to put a little string of glue along the bottom here. Line it up on our 5 and 5 sixteenths inch mark. Make sure it's flush with the edge. Then I'm using inch and a quarter staples. So three quarter and half inch, inch and a quarter. So I don't want to shoot straight in. We're going to shoot somewhat of an angle to make sure that uh, to make sure that we don't go through our wood here. It's looking good. Nice and clean on the bottom. All right. Now we'll do that uh, with the ends. We'll call it good. All right. So here is where I am at, and where you should be also. So we have our side pieces cut and attached. We have our end pieces cut and attached on both ends and then we've got our center pieces cut and ready to attach. We went ahead and made our mark over to the edge here according to our plans and on both ends. And then next is these little sticks here which are cut at exactly 11 inches and should fit in there just like so. And that gives it a nice snug fit. Just like so. And uh, we'll get those attached. So my next step is I'm going to attach these two rails here. And then we'll attach the shorter pieces here on each side. And then we'll do the cross sections here in the center. These sections here are what will be attached to the trailer as well as these end, or these center pieces here. So we have three points of contact on the trailer that has tabs that we'll be fastening to on each side and also two in the front and two in the back. And when we get to the trailer you'll see how that all fits together. But right now that is uh, our basic shape for our flooring, for the framing. So let's go ahead and get these attached and then we'll get these braces put in on both sides and then we'll do the center braces. So, if you're following the plans, you should be at least this far along. Alright, with all the blocks cut and everything, so we went ahead and attached the first uh, frame and now we're getting ready to double stack these. And what I usually do is take a couple of blocks, clamp those like that. That way that front edge is all lined up all the way around so we were gonna we're gonna do that to all of these and uh, make sure that everything is in its place where it should be
Okay, so when you're finished with the framing, this is what you should have. This is what it should look like. And uh, I consider that a two by two. It's double stacked, glued, stapled together. And uh, now we are ready for some insulation. So we're gonna get that cut. We're gonna fill in our gaps here, and then we'll be ready to put in our quarter inch over top of that to seal everything. And then we're ready for some phylon. We'll get that bottom sealed. We'll flip this over and be ready to start uh, a little bit of varnishing. Alright, so we've got all of our insulation cut. I started installing it here on the small parts. So I've just got these big parts here left in the center. And uh, when I cut these, I usually cut these about a sixteenth inch bigger all the way around. Um, that way it's a nice, tight, airtight fit. So, with that. You can hear the air coming right out of there. Nice and tight fit. Now, a lot of manufacturers who make teardrop trailers, they don't really go through the effort of uh, insulating the bottom. They'll use a three-quarter inch uh, flooring and put sidewalls on, insulate the top. But uh, I think it's important to insulate the bottom because you got a lot of moisture from the ground, a lot of cold air from the ground coming up, and uh, that makes for a cold night. I don't care what kind of mattress you have. So this is an extra step that I think is uh, well worth the money and it pays off in the end because you're going to have a, have a nice night. Ta-da! So today we got the uh, top floor cut. We got it sized. We've got our framing in place according to our plans. So follow the plans. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty close. It's right on the money. And then we've got everything insulated. So the next step is to cut our quarter inch Luan, which will go over top of this. And then once that's installed, then we will install the Phylon for the bottom. And then we'll be able to turn this over and get it varnished and probably varnish the sides also. And then we'll be able to start assembling things. So, uh, good day, got a lot done. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, and uh, as always, stay tuned.